Hello, my name is Silas Tapa. Today, I came with one of the most important messages. And this may be one of the most important sermon or the message that you have ever heard in your entire life. And I am going to talk to you about the spiritual satisfaction. Now, what is spiritual satisfaction? To understand the spiritual satisfaction, let us see what is the meaning of satisfaction. Satisfaction is a fulfillment of one's wishes, expectation, or needs, or the pleasure derived from, he, from this. In Merriam-Webster Dictionary, satisfaction is defined as fulfillment of need or want. Now, let me tell you, what is the meaning of spiritual satisfaction now? The spiritual satisfaction is something that man is seeking to fulfill his want, his need, his wish, and expectation. The best way to describe the spiritual satisfaction is spiritual thirst and hunger. Now, Every person born on this earth has spiritual thirst and hunger. But they do not know what they are looking for. This is something that they are, I mean, let me say this way, that they are looking for something that they do not know. And I want to tell you that that is a spiritual hunger and thirst. And to satisfy this spiritual hunger and thirst, people do all kind of crazy things. Few examples of what people do to satisfy their spiritual hunger and thirst. Number one, religion. Many people on this earth, they want to satisfy their spiritual thirst and hunger through the religion. And uh, many, many sadhus in India, or Hindu sadhus, they give up their uh, pleasures of this world and they go up in the mountain, in a snow mountain, and they meditate there, looking for a spiritual satisfaction. Some people try to find their spiritual satisfaction in the money, wealth, and treasures of this world. They are willing to do anything to get the money. They are even willing to sell their own body to make money so that they can satisfy their spiritual thirst and hunger. Some people try to satisfy their spiritual hunger and thirst through entertainment. They want to enjoy their life. And some people, they try to satisfy their spiritual hunger and thirst by achieving their aim and ambition. Some people try to satisfy through drugs and alcohol and all kinds of things. The list are very, very long and I don't have to explain everything now. Let me repeat it again. People are willing to do anything to satisfy their spiritual thirst and hunger. Most of the time, while they are trying to satisfy their spiritual hunger and thirst, they end up looking in the wrong places. One of such good example that we can find in the Bible is a Samaritan woman. She was desperately trying to satisfy her spiritual hunger and thirst to physical satisfaction. That's why she had four husbands and the, the one that she was living with was not her husband. But she was never satisfied with this physical relationship. 
her spiritual hunger and thirst while it's still there. But one day this woman who was desperately searching for the spiritual satisfaction meet with a very, very special person that has, that has changed her life for eternity. And that person was no other than Jesus Christ, the savior of this world. In her excitement, she went back to her village and told everybody about the Jesus Christ. That same Jesus Christ who met with this Samaritan woman wants to come and meet you today. This is the same Jesus who was born of Virgin Mary. This is the same Jesus Christ, the savior of this world, who walked along the streets of Israel about 2,000 years ago, healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, giving sight to the blind, raising the dead, and feeding people. Acts chapter 10, verse 38 says that this is the same Jesus of Nazareth who was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, who went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. This is the same Jesus who was crucified on the cross, buried in the tomb, but resurrected on the third day and moved around with his people for 40 days before he was ascended to heaven. More than 500 people or more than 500 men alone has seen this Jesus Christ after the resurrection. This is the same Jesus who said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30, it says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Again, I want to repeat the same thing. This may be the most important message that you will ever hear in your life. This must be the most important thing or thing in your life that can change your life for eternity. All you need to do to meet with Jesus Christ who can satisfy your spiritual hunger is just tell him that you need him. Express your need towards him. Just tell that Jesus, I need you today in my life. If you decide to do this one, this may be the most important decision in your life that can change your destiny for eternity. And even today, Jesus is telling you or inviting you and telling you is that come to me. All who are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. Will you please open up your heart and tell Jesus to come in your heart, or come in your life, invite him in your life. Simple prayer of faith. Just tell him how you have messed up your life and you want to come back and have that good relationship with God back again. Just open your heart and tell him. I just want to give you a few seconds to say this prayer. You can just say, Lord Jesus, I need you today. Please come into my heart and change my life. I want to serve you and worship you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.